Let's have a look at B Productions Light Studio, which is a blender add-on for lighting. Now this add-on doesn't matter if you're in EV or cycles, but I am gonna jump over into cycles just because that is my wheel jam. So with the add-on installed as per usual, we get a list of procedural lights, HDRR lights or reflectors. So if we just have a look at the procedural lights, we can see how we've kind of got this tone. Um, if we were to bring it in and we go into add light, we don't see much. Let's crack this open. It will automatically update the world settings as well. Or we do have the ability to add in our own HDRIs. Um, but for now, I'm not gonna do that. Now, the cool thing about this is if you've got the object already selected, it will attach as if it's parented and it will track to that object. So now if this gradient texture doesn't work, we can obviously change the size of it. We give us ourselves different lighting options like so. However, if we want to change it, we can always come up here, change it to the round light, change light. And now we've got our round light through here as well. Now there are various other options. Go procedural, let's do into a HDRR lights, select our object, add light. And then this gives us variations on what we can do. There's a whole bunch. So we've got these cool LED ones that I've been enjoying. And with this, you can quickly see how you can light your scene. Now, there are a few other options as well. We can cut the light in half if we don't want that full intensity. intensity. And we just need that half light. And as well, if the lights get a little bit too busy, we can always hide to camera. So the light still exists and it's still emitting, but we don't see it. Now, when we're using these settings, you actually have to use it in the light list here. So just be wary of that one. And even though the lights are hidden, they still will cast a shadow, I'm pretty sure. I gotta check that. No, they don't. Sorry, I lie. Now, don't forget as well, we can always animate these lights. So if we were to select in the umbrella, select that, add light, umbrella light, and then if we swing it around to the other side. Now, unfortunately, you can't animate the lights directly within the light settings here. However, I will be suggesting this to be productions. The way we can do that is coming over into the material settings. We go into the brightness of the umbrella light, right click, insert keyframe, and then I'm gonna move it by one. Let's go 200, right click, insert keyframe, and then six or seven frames later, we'll come back down to one. So we'll have this poof. Technically, if we really wanted to down the bottom here with the keyframes, where are you? We can even move the first frame forward a smidgen so that it'll ramp up and then come back down. So a very quick overview on how to use this add-on. I like that. <laughs> That's a cool LED panel. But yes, a very quick overview. Link in the description. Go check it out. Also, like and subscribe.